This is the city of Modinagar, 40 kilometers outside New Delhi. It is the home of the International Institute of Fine Arts, IFA, which was founded and funded by Satish Modi and his wife. Well, IFA was set up by Abha and me in the year 2000. And the reason we set it up was because there was no other institute set up for the last 60 years in India. And there was a need to set up an art institute of international level to promote the Indian artists and provide them a platform globally. We have at the moment about um, 350, 375 students, depending every year they change. Most of our students come from a low middle income group with many belonging to the very poor communities as well. And there remain many, many very gifted, deserving young uh, people who just cannot afford to nurture their talent because of the lack of adequate funds. Through Arts for India, we wish to create a scholarship fund to help needy students train at IFA and also, if possible, help them to get a postgraduate placement. Arts for India scholarships will allow outstanding graduates from IFA to attend the University of the Arts in London. One of the ways that we at the University of the Arts London can support Arts for India is to offer a really high quality postgraduate education uh, to Indian students on the MA Fine Art course, particularly here at Chelsea. We, we encourage people to be innovative, to be experimental, and these are characteristics which are not just specific to art education, they're, they're things which are transferable throughout people's lives. Indian students already study at the University of the Arts, but it is an expensive commitment. Arts for India will provide funds for poorer students who could never afford it. The training that I had in India was very different from the training I had here because the training there is very, very traditional. And now I believe that I'm more confident in approaching my paintings. We have a fantastic workshop here, which is very diverse, so I could explore options, not just as a painter, but more as a conceptual artist. I will take freedom of thought from here, like freedom to think about anything, which is very unusual for a person who comes from the East. These Arts for India scholarships won't only benefit the students who come to London, the graduates will also be offered the opportunity to teach at IFA. So it's a kind of cycle process. We, we, we want to take the best Indian students, uh, offer them high quality education, and also equip them with the confidence when they go back to India that they can teach and they can disseminate those uh, experiences to, to students in India who maybe don't have the opportunity to come and study here. Arts for India will bring more experienced teachers to IFA by funding posts for visiting lecturers from the University of the Arts and their other UK partner, the Prince's Drawing School. Arts for India will also fund a Chair of Fine Art jointly based at IFA and at the University of the Arts. The creation of a, a high-profile chair of art is absolutely vital in this process. It, it's an ambassadorial role. It's, it's somebody who is renowned and respected as a practitioner, but is also uh, feeding that expertise and that, that experience into India, into the art school there, giving a high profile and a very, very kind of highly respected uh, contribution to the teaching and to the, uh, the students who are there. Well, I think there is a big vacuum in the field of art and India needs definitely institute of international standards and my vision will be to bring in IFA up to that level so that it can fill that void. And what we're looking for is donors who will come alongside the char charity who are interested in getting involved in the lives of individual artists in India whereby they will be able to give money to put an artist through IFA and they'll be able to follow and track the life of that artist, which we think is very exciting. Really, I think this is one of the best ways of reaching out and making a difference to the lives of needy students in India. 
It's a very, very difficult thing for young creative people to realise that creativity unless they're supported. And I think the work being done to establish Arts Rinda is absolutely vital. Collaborating with two big UK art institutions to create something new, to create new relationships, hopefully a nurturing artistic environment, lives will be transformed, new art will be created, skills will be transferred, young people will be educated and we hope to create something really exciting out of this. Well, art is the source that creates culture and culture is needed for any society to develop. And without art, culture, there is no life.